up everybody John here back the motivation theory running club weekly live stream I'm always hesitant when these kick off always something wrong let's see if we're if we're, if we're doing well today so let's make sure we're, we're live we're live usually there's something wrong it's usually my mic the connection. How is everybody? Happy Tuesday. Let me pop this chat out here so I can see what's going on. Who's all here? So hello, Frank, Kelly, Recycle on Wednesday, Tim. Welcome to the stream. Let me pop this out here. How is everybody doing so far this week? Positive twos here. Caleb, hey, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to try to keep up the, the good content. So today, today we're going to be, you know, like we always are. I'm having uh, my happy hour. Um, crazy week. Kids start, started school. So we have three virtual learners here in the house. So it's, you know, 30,000 emails a day from teachers to try to keep up with. Um, I got the new runner's box i think i got this last week i promised i would do a video on it but i'm just going to do it live um so you guys can ask questions uh, of me live instead of me just doing a video so we're going to go through that see what's in it um and pretty much just hang out for the next hour catch up we can talk a little bit about my training i do have uh a 12 hour race coming up on september 19th so i've been training for that uh, or at least trying to Increase my increase my uh, abilities a little bit over the next couple of weeks uh, while I still have some time, and then I'll be going in pretty much a taper. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about my past week, kind of what I ran into, being flexible and stuff like that. So we'll see what's going on. Let me go check in here in the chat. Everybody's just saying hello. Kelly had a question before I get going. I already didn't even read. There, here we go. Before we get, so hey John, before we get going, quick question: Does watching the ads help your stats? Um, I, I would. The short answer would be, yeah. Watching the advertisements does. Um, that, I guess that's about the only answer. Um, lots of things uh, in, in increase stats for a, a YouTube channel. Um, watch time. Um, how much, how many videos you watch back to back, uh, YouTube pays a lot of attention to that kind of stuff. So, um, so there's no need to, um, I don't, I want to say supplement any of that stuff, but I mean, if there's an ad that you're interested in, go ahead. I mean, there's a lot of ads that I watch on some of the channels I watch because I'm actually interested in what they're showing. So if it interests you, sure. It always, it always helps the channel. Anything you're doing with watching a YouTube channel, it does help it. Um, especially watch time, click-through rate. So every time they show you a, a, a thumbnail from a channel that you're subscribed to and that you don't click it, that's feedback to YouTube. When you click it, that's feedback. How many videos in a row you watch, that's feedback. There's lots of stuff they take in for the algorithm. Um, let me go here and see if i got any questions here first. So everybody's just talking back and forth to make sure I didn't miss any questions. Yeah, Caleb, don't be shy. We're all uh, we're all friends here. Uh, I love answering questions of all types. So this, you know, this 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 live hangout is um, pretty much anything goes. Questions. I I know a lot about YouTube, and so for content creators and things like that. But it's it's centered around running um, and other things like that. Um, but generally, we just talk about whatever here. It can it can go any way. But I do have a couple things to focus on. I'll talk a little bit about my training. The runner box, the new one, the August, September runner's box. I keep wanting to say runners. It's runner box. Uh, we'll go through that. I was pretty pleased with the first box I got. And uh, 
got great feedback on that. The company actually reached out, and so did some of the the, the, the folks that put stuff in this. Uh, the companies who submit stuff to be in the runner's box reached out, and I got some other products to try. So I'm looking forward to, to seeing what's in this this time. Yeah, there's there's nothing too bad as long as we don't go uh, obscene <laughs> in this in this chat. We're fine. I take all kinds of questions. It, it doesn't nothing hurts my feelings. And if I actually find that it's something that's not completely relevant, I'll just ignore it and not call someone out. Usually. <laughs> so Caleb wants to know what camera editing software are you using for your videos? I'm starting to rec record my uh, progress and picked up some new gear wondering um so i use several different cameras i have because i was a content creator before that just outside of running two i use um gopro hero 8 for running so all of the stuff that i film uh, while i'm out running is my gopro um i have a iphone 11 max pro max max pro whatever it is i use that to film a lot of my content too with um, with an accessory, I don't have all the stuff there. Now I have like all the microphones and stuff that plug into it. That was pretty expensive. Um, so it's a kit that holds this. It plugs in the microphone here. It's a Sure microphone. Uh, that was that was pretty expensive rig there. Um, I also use. Hold on, guys. I have tons of cameras. Um, I have a. SLR camera that I use for like more studio stuff with the lights and everything I got here for vlogging. I use a Canon G seven X, um, that has a camera, the, the, the screen that flips up, use a lot of different stuff. But if you're looking for a camera that is versatile and you don't want to buy a bunch of different cameras, I would, I would suggest, uh, buying like a GoPro eight, uh, it's waterproof. You can take it out and it runs. It's got great sound right out of the bag. You can buy a media kit that goes around it and stuff like that. So you can do all that. I mean, there's, it's usually if you don't want to spend a lot of money. I mean, I've been building a studio over a year, so uh, I got a lot of lights and teleprompters, all kinds of stuff. So great. I'm glad that answered your question. All right. So we'll kick things off immediately. We'll just talk a little bit about my running. Um, this weekend did not go exactly how I wanted it to. So you guys all know, um, I think two Sundays ago, I ran a 20 miler. Uh, it's great. Had a great next week. Uh, ran a back to back long runs. I think I ran a 12 last Saturday, or I'm sorry, a 21 on last Saturday and a 12 on last Sunday. This week, um, I got two very specific, uh, more tempo runs on the course that I'm going to be running the race on, which was a blast. I went out. Um, didn't really look at my heart rate too much. Just kind of just ran it. Didn't run super hard. Like I was racing just one lap or anything like that, but I had a great time just running it. Uh, not really paying attention to doing the math training, um, the math training. So I wasn't looking to keep my heart rate super low just to do it. Um, that was a lot of fun. I did two of those for seven miles. And then, uh, Saturday, which I was supposed to do my first long run. I was supposed to probably do, I think I was going to try to do 21 again, 21 miles and, my son had a baseball tournament, so it was five games over two days. The first Saturday had three games, so I had to call an audible. I couldn't get the run in. I couldn't run there, so what I did was uh, just stand on my feet. I walked, so for 12 hours, and I, you know, I've talked about this a lot on this channel, time on your feet is beneficial. Is it as beneficial as running for maybe 12 hours or running for seven, getting your long run in? Probably not, but it, it does help. I spent the whole day out in the heat, in the sun, um, when it wasn't raining. And I was on my feet the whole day. I didn't sit, didn't sit in a chair and relax. I was out on my feet. So I was actually tired Sunday. So what Sunday, when Sunday came around, I did 11 on Sunday. Before the baseball game started on Sunday, I ran four baseball games, two baseball games, and I came home and ran another seven and some change. And so that's what I did last Sunday. So, um, <laughs> what Kelly says, is this the one who logs like 40 mile runs in at six minute miles? We, I got to back back up, see who this is. Um, so that's kind of what I did. Um, I adjusted and I just didn't let it stress me out. It wasn't stressing me out at the, at the games. Yes, I was kind of like, what am I going to do? But I thought about it. I was like, well, what can I do that can help benefit my race? 
well, standing all day is going to benefit my race. That will help me just have time on my feet. I stand most days anyways, a lot. Even when I'm at work, I have a stand-up desk. Uh, so I, I just called an audible, and, and I actually was tired. So when I ran Sunday, my legs were tired, which shows me that there was some work being done Sunday, even if it was just standing and walking and pacing all day long at, a, at baseball games. Literally, I got up at, I think, 4.45 that morning. We had to drive to the games. Uh, game started at 9, and I think we ended at like 5. So it was, it was a long day, a very, very long day. Caleb says, really appreciate the insight. This is exactly what I was looking for and answered my question. I'm good. Pauser2 said, what is up with Kenyan, that Kenyan doctor that pops up on MTR Club Strava leaderboard and then seems to get deleted, removed? I saw his activities and it looks like he just let his watch go all day. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't looked there. Uh, this weekend I was super busy, so I didn't check out on Strava. Let me check right now. That's interesting. Let me go out here real quick. So is he gone? Hmm. Sorry guys, I'm looking at this. Uh, let me go in here real quick. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll switch this. All right. So what are we talking about here? I'm trying to pull the screen back up. So yeah, yeah pause. I'm not sure. Good grief. I'm trying to pull the screen up. So when I'm looking here, um, this guy, 93 miles. Sorry, I'm just looking here. No, that, that, that doesn't look like the guy. Yeah, I'm not sure. You guys keep an eye on it. Let me know. I might have to appoint some... Uh, some admins <laughs> to watch some of this stuff. Uh, I, I've had some people that have come in and um, and what did they do? Oh, they f did biking and, and logged it as a run. I, I think it's a lot of times that's accidents and stuff like that. Uh, so You go back in here, read. So I, I'm sorry I don't answer the question. I have to go pause. I have to go check it out. I haven't. I don't. I want to do that on air because I'll just be standing here in silence trying to read. <laughs> Kelly said, "This is the one that logs like 40 mile runs at six minute miles." Yeah, that's that's a little that's a little uh, suspect. So, pause or two said, "I saw one of his activities was like 65 mile run with five minute mile range. <laughs> Could be riding a bike and logging it as a run. That has happened." has happened there was one person that did that one time and i just sent him a note saying hey you might want to change that activity to a run or a bike and then they did they took it down uh so you know i you know i might have to have an admin look at that stuff because i can't always keep track of some of that stuff occasionally i'll see a name that i don't recognize and it'll don't you know have like a hundred mile week i'm like holy smokes and then eventually i think some of those people that are doing big miles like to just join a bunch of clubs so they can lead a bunch of clubs Yeah, I you know it's not beyond the the realm of possibility, but I think if they're running five minute miles for sixty five uh, for sixty five miles straight, um, we'd heard of them before. <laughs> Kelly said, "Sometimes I think standing with minimal movement is harder on me than walking. It is so standing for me is super painful. Like if I have to stand for five hours and not move a lot." Uh, it hurts my back, uh, you know, with the hurting discs and stuff like that. Like it does hurt a lot more than just running. That's very true. But I did try to, to walk the whole time. So I wasn't just like standing kind of, I mean, I'd stand for a minute and then walk. I mean, I was pacing the whole time just to keep moving. I was thinking about turning my watch on, but then it would be like, you know, 10 to 12 hours worth of my watch running and it'd be like three miles. And it would just jack up a bunch of stats like saying you did, 
45 minute miles and stuff like that. So I just thought I would just take that one um, as a day that's not going to be tracked. I'll see the dividends in the race. I'll, my feet will, you know, I'll do a little better. I'll feel better uh, for standing. Uh, so I'm, I'm not really that worried about it. But I want to talk to you guys about that, especially those of you who are thinking about moving into the ultra realm. Um, again, you follow me on Strava. I'm very transparent with my training. And you can kind of see what someone can get away with, with taking in mind uh, that I have run ultras for many years. And so it's not like I'm fresh, but uh, there's things you can do to call an audible and to not stress yourself out. So that video I released earlier this week when I was kind of talking about that is just, you know, not stressing yourself out with training when you miss a workout. Just, you know, find a way to get around what you need to do with this week. I know there was a possibility that I wouldn't be able to get in, so I decided to run two seven mile runs harder in the middle of the week. Granted, I didn't run them super hard, but I did want to get some fitness out of them. So I, I thought it was uh, beneficial for me to uh, put in two quality runs uh, midweek at seven miles each on the, the trail that I'll be racing on, which it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to move a little quicker. Ponzi2 said most of his paces were walking paces. I'll give it to him. The time on feet category. <laughs> Tim Hugo said, hi, Toby. Hey, Toby, what's going on? Hey, everybody who's joined into the uh, to the chat here, uh, to the stream. It's good to see you. Appreciate seeing you. Uh, Emily, hello. Uh, Alice, hello. Recycle on Wednesday. If I missed you, sorry. I'm trying to get through here. Let me turn this on live chat so it orders everything correctly. Uh, oh, positive to say it's not on it now. Yeah, I don't know. He might have gotten flagged. I don't. I don't know. So I know that a lot of people start. I know there are a lot of people that are um, Strava police, <laughs> and they'll report people for certain things. I, I don't know. And maybe you know. I, I don't know if he just left the left the group himself, or just got flagged, and then might have been put in some sort of timeout. I'm not sure. Emily, so Emily's new here. Hello, Emily. Everybody say hello. It's good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Motivation Theory Running Club. Um, are you new to the stream or just to the channel or from Strava? If, if you're not on Strava, if you're a runner, you can you can join the Run Club on Strava if you want. If you're not, you don't have to. Um, I post uh, a lot of running content, and here is a week. We do a weekly live stream here where we just kind of hang out, talk about running and other stuff. Uh, so all are welcome. So it's good to have you. Alice is here. So, uh, hello, Alice. Alice says, yes, Kelly, I agree. Standing with minimal movement is harder than running or walking. Yes, I completely agree with that. Recycle on Wednesday said, hey, Kelly, for sure. I get lots of blood pooling in my veins when I run. The skeletal muscle pump kicks in. Yep, it's very true. Kelly said, yeah, hey, Alice, yeah, my legs always feel like lead. Yeah, my, my legs were really tired the next day. And it was actually shocking. I felt like, I was like, you know, I didn't run yesterday. But then I started thinking, I was like, well, yeah, I did stand for 12 hours so and, and walk around. So I, th I actually think that's a win. I think it was a good thing. I probably needed to rest between my, my week last week and this past week. I probably did need to rest a little bit. Just coming out and doing back-to-back -back long runs two weeks in a row would have been uh probably been been a lot on me uh sunday actually i mean yeah so sunday i did do a double which was cool that actually felt kind of good to do a double i love doing doubles kelly's <laughs> kelly loves her compression socks now anybody loves compression socks you got to get in the compression socks uh fan club we got one here <laughs> Tim Hugo says, hey, Don. Uh, Alice uses compression socks at work. They changed her life. That's good to know. I may have to try them at some point. So Recycle on Wednesdays has medical grade ones. Hate them, but they help a lot. I don't wear them to run though. <laughs> Is it because they don't look cool? Because that, that, I, I do know someone who made a video that made fun of people who wore compression socks. And it was a joke. I talked to him. It was a joke. <laughs> yeah, Joe Kern, is the, he, he's, a, he's, the, he's the, uh, the pusher for the compression socks. He might be running. Doesn't he go out on the trails? 
He might not have known because I didn't. I didn't release this earlier. It's, it was only uh, notif. It probably only sent a notification out an hour before. Questions for everybody else. So Emily said, my dream is to run a self-supported or semi-supported ultra, but I am not sure how to train for it with small children. So it is largely put on hold. Uh, Emily, yeah, that ultras are time consuming to uh, train for. Uh, it does help to have a significant other partner, uh, someone to help watch the kids. You know, my wife is pretty supportive um, of me doing this to an extent. So I do try to be mindful of the amount of time that I spend training. So I, I spend a lot of time trying to balance that. Uh, if you have someone to kind of kind of help, I ran a lot at night um, on treadmills. So I spent a lot of time on this treadmill when I first started doing ultras on the weekends, just so I wasn't far. I used to have two treadmills down here and I would run on the treadmill and people would join me on the next one. And then the kids could talk to me while I'm down here for five, six, seven hours on the treadmill. Um, now I know for, for ladies or even pe people in general, you know, running at night is not always a great solution or a great option just from a safety standpoint um, or a convenience standpoint. Uh, but I found having a treadmill when I first got into ultras was really, really beneficial. And it still is. It still is. So if I have to come down here and run 10 miles at 11 o'clock at night, I can do that. And I did it a lot. I did it a whole lot. Uh, when I was first building my base and even after running a couple ultras, I would come down and, at like 11 just to get two or three hours in. It wasn't ideal, but I did it just to, it was the only time I really had, especially when I was working on my masters and stuff. It was, uh, it was, I, you know, I have, I have four kids in the house, I have five kids total, but I have four in the house right now. Um, so it's difficult. I feel for you. It's, it's never easy. But there are options um, that you can do so you could probably and when you say an all self-supported ultra you could do a 50k which is not much further than an uh and a marathon and some of those are pretty convenient how they do them you can do in pick an interlupal race um, i know training form is hard but if it's really about convenience uh, for doing a race you can really do some research there and find some races that are a little more convenient uh, for you time wise Caleb said, not a question, but I wanted to share that I had, oh no, where did my stuff go? So let me catch up here, guys and gals. I wanted to share that I had a runner, never run before for, for exercise until March this year. After I did start I found your channel and a few others now I'm signing up for an Ironman awesome well I'm glad that's you know I tried to inspire new runners and runners who've been running for a while that want us to uh, transition into ultras and and things like trail running and stuff like that so that's awesome Alice says in Italy you can find them in medical shop oh, we're still talking about compression socks Caleb said thank you for all the free information well cheers absolutely that's what I'm here for Kelly said that's awesome. Or, uh, sorry, Kelly said that's awesome. Yeah, it's great to film process, your, your progress and stuff. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Good morning to you. Good evening to everyone here who's, uh, I'm on the East Coast. And, and so it's uh, evening here coming up on dinner time. Hey, Frank. Frank, you were quiet there for a while. Um,. Kelly said, Emily, I bet John could help with training. There's a couple of channels of ultra runners with kids. John has like 47, <laughs> I have five, yes. Yes, I do I do know the, the peril of having to balance life, work, uh, at one point school, and uh, family, job, all that stuff, and ultra running. It, it can be done. Uh, you just can't think about the entire thing. You just think of, break everything down into small parts. That's my advice for doing anything that's difficult, whether you're in a race or training, break it down into small parts. Don't worry about the things you can't control. Do Just control what you can control, and it's move forward. You can be done. You just have to think about each 
day you're going to train and what's going on that day. Don't try to think about why well, can't there's no way for me to run 50 miles in a week. There's just no way that I can do that. This don't worry about that. Get your base in and, and start adding in runs here and there and, you know, work with whoever you need to work with to try to get some extra things done. Um, spending more time on your feet. There's things you can do. You have three and six. Yeah, you got littles. I have a baby, a one year old, a 10 year old, one that's soon, or well, one that's soon to be 11, one soon to be 14, uh, one soon to be 18, and a 26 year old. Your second one says, I'm sure how anyone does anything with small children, including uh, cope with having small children. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like anything else. You just got to coordinate, plan. All right, so let me keep going down. <laughs> Kelly's gonna send me some uh, pink socks with rhinestones. Man, y'all been chatting. I'm trying to get through. You guys are blowing up the chat today. Go uh, Goku runners here. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Party up, people. Goku shaved. I'm not shaving, Goku. No, no time soon. So you're all fresh shaven, looking, looking all young. Like Kelly said, absolutely love night running. Night running is a lot of fun. I used to love running at night, but um, I just with some of the things I've seen happen, especially in the states, I don't, in certain areas, uh, you know, it's dangerous for. I want to say women, but it's dangerous for anybody, depending on where you run. But you know, it's, it's, I think uh, women are a little more vulnerable sometimes. And we just, I just had a news story recently that I read that scares me because I have a daughter that likes to run, and so you know, as a as a dad, um, as a girl dad. I got, you know, four girls and one boy. I just, I'm always on the uh, lookout. I'm always trying to protect and, and, and keep her safe and scare her a little bit <laughs> uh, because she's no fear. Um, so, yeah, night's, night's rough, especially depending on where you're running. And day can be rough, too. So I would, you know, always advise running in pairs uh, and things like that. Goku said, what's the beer thing on the lower right corner? Goku, that's just, I was playing around with um, stream, uh, stream Labs, and this is the tip jar. So when anybody does a super chat or anything like that, it drops money into this. Like when someone subscribes or super chats, it pops up the zombie runner right next to the, uh, I'm swinging around, I'm swinging the, uh, the hand around it, the cursor around on my mouse. Um, so it'll do the, the runner here and then it'll drop money into this cup. So that's what super chats do. And super chats are the dollar sign on the chat you guys see below you. There's if you click on that, you can donate to me for my content creation and all the subscription things I pay for for content creation. <laughs> that's what that is. That's a long answer. Um It's not always there. I think I think I was messing around. See, I, I, I changed cameras and I had to, yes, <laughs> you're just pausing. Pause, you're awesome. Thank you for the super chat. Always, always, see, look, see, Pauser did it. So he donated $4.99 through super chat and it will drop change in right there. Bam. Thank you, Pauser. I really appreciate that. That's what it does. And I can replay that. Hold on, let me see. See, watch this. Don't don't, don't worry, Pazard. It doesn't charge you twice. I can just replay it. <laughs> uh, and I gotta get the chat back up. Here we go. So I'm reading through here. I'm gonna blah 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 blah. All right, here we go. All right, so let me. So I think I caught up. If I missed missed any questions, please type them in again. <laughs> I'm gonna start opening. So this is the runner's box, Kelly. That's what we're talking about. This is my second runner's box out of the subscription. My wife got me this subscription uh, because you know it's sometimes it's hard to get somebody who already buys himself a lot of stuff. So 
I, I do that. Um, so she got me this because it's kind of exciting each every two months. This comes every two months. And uh, since then, my wife has gotten addicted to subscription boxes and watching people open them. But this one's mine. Kelly said, every time I try to do Super Chat, I always got the wrong card, no password, whatever. I'll get that fixed. <laughs> And Kelly is a new member to the, uh, what you call it? What do we call it there, Kelly? I'm trying to look up something real quick. I'll look it up later. All right, so let me get to this box here. I keep I keep clicking off the chat. I have the chat popped up. Yeah, the yeah, Patreon. There we go. So Kelly just joined. I do have a Patreon. That's down in the description. Uh, that's just like a monthly subscription that have different tiers. Uh, kind of allows you to send uh, direct text to me through the through the app. If you have questions and stuff, I prioritize all that and answer all that kind of stuff like that. So, and there are tiers there that you could join for as little I think as a dollar, dollar ninety nine a month for that. So, and all of that money just kind of goes to you know I pay for all of the editing software and the B-roll software and all the equipment and stuff. That's where all that stuff goes. Shoes, shoe reviews. You know, most of the shoes that I, I get, I purchase. I do have some sent to me, especially from Mizuno. Uh, they're really good about that. So that's where it all goes. It all goes right back in the content. So when you get the runner's box, it comes nicely packed like this. Well, stuff's dumping out already. We'll go ahead. So they have a nice, you probably can't see the lights, too much light. There you go. It's nicely packaged. I'll go ahead and crack this open. All right. So this is the Summer Don't Leaf. So they, they send you a card in here that tells you what everything is. So I'll use this to kind of look, I'm sorry if I'm yelling in the microphone, that tells you what everything is on here. So right off the bat, I'm kind of excited. I see some, some pretty cool stuff. Um, Two of these real quick. So I'll just kind of go down this list. So green superfood mix. So this is this is an energy filled superfood blend combines green superfoods and plant based caffeine from green tea extract to keep your gut happy and legs moving all day. Um, so this is called amazing grass energy tab. So I'm, I'm assuming this is a dissolvable tab. I don't know if it's a tab or not. It says injury. Oh. Sounds like powder, but I guess there's tabs in there. So again, once I go through these, if I find something that I like in these, everyone, I will, uh, I will uh, let you guys know. If I if I don't like something, I won't even tell you about it. But if I find something that's really good, which I've done that with the acorn bar, I really like that, and the last box and the headband, which my one year old wears all the time now. Frank said use the green one. So Frank can even talk to that. So I'm excited about. I think this would be good. Um, so I'm excited about that. All right, next thing on the list. So that's two of them. It comes with two. And they value these at $7.99 a piece. So that's that's on the more expensive side for the tabs. I don't know how many tabs that come in them. It says you dissolve one tablet in a bottle of water during training. Do you like them, Frank? Just let me know. Um, next one. Lemon try to go in. So this is called a tahini lemon cranberry. So you guys might know about some of this. So um, see the problem is I got my light turned away. There you go. And this is made up of only five ingredients. Uh, loopy bars tap into the power of lupini. I don't know what that is to provide a tasty, sustainable plant-based fuel to keep you going during your workout. Uh, how to use it a bite every 20 minutes during a long slow training day a slow energy release type thing so this is a chocolate now this one's a uh, lemon cranberry never heard of them it does sound it does sound good but it's supposed to be some sort of slow it says gluten-free and everybody always asks me if stuff's vegan usually they'll call it out in this if it's um, vegan friendly I don't know if this is or not, uh, but it is gluten-free. It does have nuts in it. 
Uh, Lupi beans are Lupini beans are the member of the Laguine family. Okay. Now let's go down to trying to look at the pitch the picture. All right, so let's go Bear Republic. This is actually I was wondering why this box was so heavy. Suntan lotion. So this is Bear Republic Mineral Sunscreen Sunscreen Spray. That's a tongue twister. Citrus cooler. Uh, water resistant for up to 80 minutes, free of chemical sunscreen act, uh, actives. Whatever that means. So what does it say about it in here? It says this is valued at $14.99. Um, and one of the things when you get the box, uh, they give you a bunch of uh, coupons and stuff like that to get discounts on further purchases of these. It says this is a sports spray made provide to uh, subscribers a layer of sun protect uh, protection that is cruelty free and is made with zinc oxide that is safe for both you and the environment. So, environment friendly. Sprouted organic seeds. Two things of these. Uh, go raw cinnamon snacking seeds will make your taste buds uh, smile, your insides happy, thanks to vitamins and minerals content loaded with in the sweet to on the go snack it's to be used between meals for protein filled satiating snack to uh, to fulfill that sweet tooth so sounds good a rowdy bar sunflower butter and berries here and let me know if you've tried any of this stuff Frank said, it's really just an excuse to put more fluid in. I think it's mixed with beet powder. Yeah. Well, this one sounds good. This one says watermelon lime flavor. Yeah, I use a lot more. I use this, a squirt stuff upstairs for water. And it actually helps me hydrate more because I just get bored with drink, drinking water sometimes. So I drink a lot more because of that. Deodorant. This I never thought that we'd get this. So um, the deodorant in here, this is... Thir thirsty Naturals deodorant. That's kind of weird. Uh, thirsty Naturals keeps your pits smelling fresh with their natural deodorant full of minerals and micro uh, microbiol extracts. This, the, the best part, there are no nasty toxins, aluminum, or baking soda, and it still works. This is something I'm looking forward to trying because I always struggle with deodorants because they usually irritate my armpits pretty badly. I don't really wear a ton of deodorant because I'd, I've never been someone who's needed to, shockingly. Um, but when I do, I have to make sure I get something super, super sensitive uh, so it doesn't irritate. So hopefully this could be something that could work. Can't wait to try that again. I'll let you guys know if any of this stuff is any good. Um, here is a cherry walnut sports muscle tissue health. Some sort of another runner's bar. Um, this one is... Crafted, this is Crafted Energy Runner Bar. Crafted Energy understands runners need, understands runners needs with easy to digest real food bar that is, supplies your body with energy that absorbs both quickly and slowly. All right, so we'll try that. Should really wear my glasses during this, it'd make my reading a little bit easier. So water, lily pops, white cheddar. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, it's a, a guilt-free superfood snack made from popped water lily seeds and loaded with protein for tasty snack any time of day. That's weird. It's got 72% less fat than popcorn, 90 calories per bag, and 20% less calories. Non-GMO, always rooted. Uh, roasted, gluten-free. All right, so this they always send some sort of oats or granola. So this is chocolate chip granola, gluten-free. So this is stuff you sprinkle and stuff. We, use, we eat a lot of this in my house, a lot of this type of stuff. Not this particular one, but we eat a lot of granola mixes. These things, so a gel. So this is a P&G refuel gel. We all know what those are. What makes this one special, let me read what it says. Refuel gel is loaded with fast energy in the form of an, uh, of an easy to digest, great tasting, no caffeine gel with only three grams of sugar. Well, so for those of you who like low sugar, which I do, uh, lemon meringue. I can't wait to actually try that. I love the lemon meringue. And here, um, 
what are these things? Uh, some more mixes. So these are vital proteins, uh, immune booster. So vital proteins provides this convenient stick pack loaded with collagen, uh, glutamine, vitamin C, zinc, electrolytes with well immune to help boost your immune system. So these are immune system boosters uh, that you mix into water. And I believe that is it. And again, it's, they send I don't know what that is. Anyway, so that is it and for that pack. So not bad, not bad. They usually switch it up with some uh, different things. So these type of things, I think last time they had the headband. Um, they put different kinds of bars in and things like that. So uh, I'm excited to try some of the stuff. And again, I'll let you guys know. All right. It is called Runner Box without the S. This is what it looks on the outside. Uh, it's at, so they're, it's therunnerbox.com. Again, this is something my wife found for me and got it for me for, I think, Father's Day. And it's pretty cool. No headband this time. I'm pretty upset about that. Headbands, you know who wears a headband? Addie, my, my one-year-old, she wears a headband. She puts it on. When I put it on, she laughs. She thinks it's the funniest thing in the world. She pulls it off my head, then she puts it on her head, and she runs around the living room. Yeah, I'm actually excited a lot of the flavors and stuff in here. They do a good job. I think they spend a lot of time um, when companies submit stuff. They, sp they, they spend a lot of time making sure the companies who submit stuff are all it's kind of healthy stuff. Uh, Joe Grant said, I wear a bed sheet. <laughs> Yeah, Kelly said, I'm really impressed that almost all of the, the, the contents are natural and good. So that, that's one of the things I like about it. They, they, I think they do put a lot into this. This isn't they're just not taking all the junk that people send to them. They actually spend a lot of time selecting these products. Um, it makes me think they do put a lot of time into it. The packaging is good. You know, they even saw the review that I did uh, originally in my car and they loved it and were very uh, nice about that stuff and they were going to put repost the video. So, um, Emily says, as a headband, I'm impressed. <laughs> she did, yeah, exactly. You wear a bed sheet? Where? What are you talking about? When you run? Like as a toga? <laughs> Kelly said, you'll have to take a step around mile eight. I have been fortunate. I don't, I've never really have been like a smelly person. I know that. <laughs> It sounds weird, but I just have never had that issue. I don't know. It, it, my diet looked really dark to you guys. I've been out in the sun a lot running and at baseball. And because of my hair being white, like, I don't know if it's the lights or the contrast and this camera, but I look like a Oompa Loompa somewhat with my skin tone. I really don't look like that in person. I'm darker, but I'm, I'm not that dark. Joe, Joe says he's got a big melon. Headbands don't fit. You just wrap around a towel around like a, a hula hoop or something. Goku Runner said, I remember buying my first compression calf sleeve off of Amazon, and it was like 40 bucks for one. I wasn't happy they didn't come in pairs. You know what the funny thing is? I've, at, I've seen comments on... Amazon because I was looking at compression socks or, or in, in gaiters and things like that and people were asking like when it says how much it is is that for one or two and people were like it's for two it's for a pair why would it not be like a pair of socks and so you you, you, you proved it right there that like they used to sell that stuff one at a time like I don't know why someone would buy one Kelly said Goku runner holy moly Joe Kern turned me into me on to to help me out they were like 15 for a pair Positives had been hitting the tanning bed a little. Well, you know, with your super chats, Positive, I can now afford to go to the tanning bed. No, I'm outside a lot. It's not, you look, see, there's a difference, see? <laughs> I'm a runner. Look at that. See this? the difference? You can see? 
right there, the difference in my arm. It's, it's severe tan lines. I mean, I spent probably 17 hours outside in the sun this weekend on my feet. <laughs> Whoa. You know what I ordered that I'm excited to show you guys? I got a pair of trekking poles. So I confirmed that in, in I know Frank, you said I'm going to need them for this race. So um, I, I bought some, some really nice trekking poles. They were expensive. I think they're like 160 something bucks, uh, 170 bucks. So I bought those. I'm going to be using them in the race. I don't think I'm going to use them every lap. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to use them for certain climbs. So I'm excited. I've never raced with them, but I'm going to try them. I think they will help in some of the climbs I got to do to take some of the, the, the pressure off my legs. Positive said, yeah, I have the same tan lines. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, <laughs> so Joe said, I sweat a ton now. Must be getting older. I have to wear a headband. Yeah, I sweat a ton also. Uh, I thought about wearing a headband. Um, what I do, one of the tips that I do, if you don't know this, I take uh, Vaseline and I rub above my eyes, like right here like in a V or an upside down U, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it helps be the, the sweat off of, cause I get sweat in my eyes. It drives me insane. Um, but I, like with as humid it is here in Virginia, I, uh, I sweat like, I mean, I'm in soaked within an hour. I'm completely soaked. I'm just running. Like I jumped in a pool, but I do that. I take Vaseline, um, and just kind of rub it on my forehead. I don't put it all over my forehead because then it doesn't it doesn't help. But you just do a line; it'll help bead that sweat off of off your forehead and keep it out of your eyes. So Kelly said, um, <laughs> "This is nice. I'm a runner and a farmer. I got some crazy lines that still that last till spring. Yeah, <laughs> I do too. I do too." Goku Runner says, "Speaking of sweating, it's way too hot here in Texas now. I'm just glad." I'm not one of the people without electricity. Oh yeah, so how's it going down there? You know, it was all over the news that the, the world was ending with the hurricane and then you just didn't hear anything anymore. So I'm hoping everybody's okay. I'm hoping it wasn't as bad as they thought it was gonna be. Emily said, what race are you doing? I'm doing a the an, uh, 12 hour trail race, an interloopal race. So it's like a six and a half mile loop uh, and uh, the national park it's the atr 12 hour and i'm going to be going around as many times as i can for 12 hours i've done the 24 hour version of it a couple times this is the 12. um i didn't think it was going to happen it's going to happen so i'm excited about that uh super excited about it you know i don't, can't even explain how excited i am to actually have a race to go do especially uh, in one of the areas i train a lot Goku Runner said, great tip. Yeah, um, I thought about doing it. I'm going to probably put together some of the tips I do for that stuff. But that, you know, that's a freebie. That's a freebie. Posner 2 bought that for you guys with that great um, with that great super chat. You guys get that. <laughs> Goku Runner said, I'm going to make a video about that bass. Man, Goku Runner stealing my ideas. <laughs> I actually was going to do a video with that was going to include that one, but I was nah, go ahead and do it. Um, Toby said, Goku, it's hot here in Northeast Texas. The humidity down your way is brutal. Joe Kern said, or Kelly said, Joe Kern, I only just experimented, experienced ice sweat this summer. It was awful. Yeah, it's, it's terrible for me, especially the longer I run and the more uh, concentrated uh, sweat that I get and it gets in my eyes. It's just crazy crazy it sucks so bad so yeah i learned that i don't think years ago um i wouldn't recommend using the if you use like one of those lube sticks to lube all your bits and parts i wouldn't use that that's another that's another pro tip for you don't use that one if you rub it where the sun don't shine don't rub it on your face just, just don't do it toby said i missed the vaseline tip well, first off, if you're running ultras, you Vaseline everything that touches. 
you lube up everything that touches or rubs, swings or swangs, you make sure you get it all covered or it will bleed. And if you run for long enough, it will bleed and then heal together and then rip apart and bleed even more. So you don't want to, you want to, lube, you want, that's one, that's one tip for Vaseline and lube on your body. Um, yeah, don't mix the t- <laughs> I got a story about that. And uh, so what I was talking about is keeping sweat as I rub Vaseline above my eyes in like a, a V to kind of keep, and I only do it in the spot. I don't rub it all over my forehead. I just keep it right there to help take the, the sweat off. Because once my my hat or whatever it is that I'm using to keep sweat off um, gets saturated, it just starts to run down my forehead. And so that helps. Vaseline is my friend, Joe Kern said. Absolutely. Joe Kern said, let me know about the running poles. I'm curious. Yeah, they should be in this week. So I'm going to get them. I'm going to probably do a training run this week with them just to try them out. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I've used walking sticks. It can't be that hard. And they're supposed to be super light. I'm just worried about the logistics of keeping them on me and having stuff bounce. And I'm just dealing with all that. I'm not somebody who likes things bouncing on me or any kind of irritant that's kind of shaking or rattling. Um, So I'm worried about that. So we'll see. I'm probably planning to use it lower uh, a little later on the race, but we'll see. I mean, I might use it at the beginning, whatever. Arlene's here. Hey, Arlene. How are you? Good. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Kelly said, hey, Arlene, I was just asking about you. The runner box was good, full of good earth-friendly stuff. Yes, you missed it, Arlene. So go back and watch it. Um, it's not too far into the video. We were talking quite a bit. So I got here, got a lot of good stuff in it, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of good stuff. Yeah, Frank, well, Frank, there were people in it before. Um, what they were doing is they were keeping everybody in uh, kind of a pending status, and then they released them all at once. Because, but they only they only allowed some of the people. So, um, I was I was gifted into the race um, because of some of the work I've done for them. Um, so that was a, a nice thing, and so I think I was automatically in it. But everybody else was brought in all at one time after they thought after they found out they could do the race. So. Goku Runner said two bottles labeled uh, Vaseline is necessary. So yes, in my house, we have like the Vaseline that we use for the baby and stuff like that. And then I have dad's Vaseline that says do not use. I have it labeled somewhere. I don't know if it's down here. I don't know where it was, but I have made sure I labeled, labeled it on all sides. It is not one you use for your lips or your anything else. Don't use it. And if you go on to ultras, don't use your bare hand because it gets your, you get Vaseline and all the stuff on your hands. I mean, where you start having to rub this stuff, especially late in the race, you don't want to be rubbing all your face. You can't wash your hands, so rubber gloves. So one of the big things I take is a bag full of um, latex gloves and you use latex gloves to apply everything. It'll make your life much, much easier and less gross. Um, I noticed in my first Ultra, they had these aid stations with the M&Ms. Uh, and so this is how my mind works. I'm kind of a germaphobe. I started seeing the the aid stations that had like just baskets of chips. They weren't in cups or anything like that. I'm sure things will be more like that now. But back then, you would just see a bowl of chips, bowl of M&Ms, bowl of pretzels, all stuff. And then, you know, you'd see people stopping at these aid stations and people were grabbing their lube. They're grabbing a handful and they're they're doing their business. And and that's it's ultras. We all do it. And then you start thinking about as you're grabbing a chip, you're like, these people are all rubbing their their lube on all of their all of their parts. And now they're digging into the bowl of chips and now I'm digging into the bowl of chips. So I started avoiding all of the, the chip bowls and stuff like that. Um, it's just like at a bar. You don't, you don't eat the peanuts on the bar, the pretzels. Frank, I got carbon. I got the carbon, um, fiber. Uh, what is it? Let me look it up. I got the, sorry, I'm jumping back and forth. I, I from talking about my poles, my trekking poles. Let me look them up real quick. Kelly said you can make a funny what not to do video clips. Yes, I have that stuff. So Goku, don't steal it. Two bottles labeled Vaseline is necessary. Don't mix the two. Absolutely, you can make a funny video what not to do video. Yeah, I have some. I have some stuff. Some script stuff that I'm I'm writing with that with that type of stuff in it. Um, it'd be pretty funny.
Kelly said, like the bar of soap in the shower, don't wash your face. <laughs> That's right. Is, does a bar of soap ever get dirty? Think, ponder that one. Ponder that one and let me know. Let me find the kind of polls I got real quick. See, if I had a uh, co-host here, they could be talking while I'm sitting here doing this. Uh, so earlier when I talked about the video kit, I got a Shure MV88 Plus video kit with digital stereo condenser microphone for my iPhone. That's what I use to film a lot of my content on. So there's that. Let me go in here and check. Here, my orders. Why doesn't it let me? Sometimes I'm not happy with the uh, Amazon site, especially their mobile site. Anyways, I'll look it up here in a second. They're supposed to be the top ones on the market, but they're carbon fiber. Kind of irritating that I can't find it. Arlene, Arlene said Vaseline is awful to wash out of clothes, though. Yeah, I don't use a ton of it. Um, during races, sometimes it's the easiest one to get get the job done instead of trying to use like a deodorant bar stick of like shape like this for lube. Like it's sometimes it's just easier to go in heavy. Heavy coverage, easy coverage with, with a handful. <laughs> uh, Kelly said, Oog. <laughs> Kelly said, oh, gross. I, I wasn't sure why greasy, nasty hands would be gross, but the <laughs> yeah, it is gross. So I think about this stuff and I feel bad, especially when guys want to like shake hands and high five and stuff like that. Like I've always been a gerbophobe. I've never even liked that, but like when I've been around ultras long enough, you see some stuff, you know, all the snot rockets and everybody adjusting themselves and lubing up and like you, hands aren't clean. People aren't, I mean, I sanitize my hands and stuff like that just because that's me because I touch my own face and my eyes and stuff. So I try to keep my hands clean as best I can, but I'm not washing my hands out there. Um, but I definitely know that it's kind of gross out there. And some people are grosser than others, but mm. <laughs> hey scully's here hey what's going on scully good to see you i just think about it. i saw a comment from the other day hadn't seen you in a while hope you're well um recycle on wednesday said i always think that when watching ultra films <laughs> and recycle on wednesday said uh people are high-fiving the runners like they weren't just out defecating <laughs> we didn't even go there yeah there's all kinds of bathroom breaks and you know yeah it's 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 a uh it's a germ fest for sure <laughs> that makes me laugh kelly kelly said i come from hiking we share we share food constantly with nasty hands it crosses my mind and then my hunger takes over same with farming clean the horse make sandwich <laughs> i like that you you spell it sandwich too i do the same thing there's no sandwich. It's sandwich. Joe Kern said, don't mix up the desert with Icy Hot. Yeah, I've done it. Ooh, yeah, that, that'll burn. That'll burn. Um, so, Kelly, when you mentioned that, so there is a point in an ultra where I just stop caring about everything at all. Like, I don't care. Like, someone could get me their water bottle. I'll drink it. Like, it's, there's a point where you're just so tired, so thirsty, so hungry, so over everything. You don't care about the grossness of everything. Uh, so some of that stuff kind of goes out the window. So like when I'm at mile 46 and I'm at the aid station and I'm just trying to get calories, I'm not thinking, did did somebody gross touch these you know, touch these potato chips? I'm just, I'm all in, you know. I've lived. It's been okay. I just don't want to think about it. Kelly said, but don't worry. I'm obsessed about having hand washing when cooking for others. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Kelly needs to put that in just in case she cooks you dinner out there cleaned up horse manure 
Come in and make you a sandwich. West Virginia running. Hey, good to see you, buddy. Um, so West Virginia running Don said we are sweating out the germs just like those the booze in the night before. That's right. <laughs> my wife is my wife is convinced that when you go out to a restaurant, if you get bad food, as long as you have a drink with it, it will help kill whatever it is. So I'm with Don. I like to think of it that way. Your body's just fighting everything off. Your body sees your, maybe the germs see your body is not a good enough host to go after. So they just take off. They're like, man, this person's dying. We don't want to mess with them. So they just, they, just get, they just go. We sweat it off. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God, Joe. Ouch. You don't want to put any icy hot down in certain spots. That'd be out. That would definitely be not be good. <laughs> plant powered runner lol so true no hugs after a run yeah i'm always i'm always uh surprised when people want to hug like after i've run and people are like hey crick rat and they hug me i'm like i'm super gross like i wouldn't even hug me and like they hug ah, like i don't care i'm like gross I, I don't think it's gonna happen anymore i don't know I don't, maybe they are runners are a special breed Plant powered runner. Hey, good to see you. Exactly. No, I just read the, read the name. It was blending in with Scully's. Uh, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Scully, Scully said, Hey, bro, you got a nice tan. I do have a nice tan. I think I have a nice tan. I don't know if it's as dark. So you guys can see my last video. So after this one, go watch my, my six tips, running tips video. After this one, you can see that's more of my normal tan. I think, I think the contrast is really up on this camera so it makes me look a little darker than I am and my white hair doesn't help I'm gonna make a uh, make a killer Santa Claus one day looking fit that's right I've lost uh, over 40 pounds now guys I'm down I'm down last time I weighed my thing I was 206 so I'm down over 40 pounds so getting there I'm ready I'm rocking and rolling I'm super excited for this race coming up uh, just to get out there and do it, just to just to, to have fun and be out, be out there. The plant powered runner said, uh, "I'm running my first. I'm running. I'm sorry. I'm running my 50 miler in November in Ontario, Canada. It's just going to be around on my trail. So that sounds like a blast. Is there any big climb? So is that going to be like? Is it going to be on the trails? Is it going to be trail 50 miler?" Kelly said, plant power, how do you stay motivated to keep going when no one is watching? That's a good question. Um, I know for me, it's, it's, it's harder in time. So it, if I'm on the trails, it's easy for me to go that far. I mean, I've run 30 miles. I think the farthest I've ever gone by myself was 31 miles. Um, I did 31 miles on the treadmill. Uh, while you guys were there live um, while I was streaming it, but I've run 30 miles several times uh, by myself over the years, probably I'd say f five times over the years by myself, just in training runs. Um, I just learned to separate my mind from my body and just tick off miles. I don't, I'm pretty good at separating my mind from my body and just, and, and just moving forward one foot in front of the other. I don't even know how, how else to put it. I mean, it's just, it's a really kind of the separating yourself. Kelly said, is it the Rona in sweat? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Arling M, how about Squirrel's Nut Butter? Good stuff. It's good stuff. Highly recommended. Squirrel's Nut Butter is a good... I'm trying not to sound completely gross, but lubricant for running. <laughs> Recycling ones said, I don't even want to hug people who haven't been running. <laughs> Is there anybody else out there? Almost knocked my drink over. Uh, anybody else out there that feels like when you run, when you're out running and exercising and someone moves away from you and they're not running, they're like walking their dog, they move away from you like you're somehow, you got the plague or possibly. I'm always like, if I was that sick, I don't think I'd be out running. Like, But I think that's probably kind of a false thing. You can be healthy and a runner and, and get it, but I always find it funny. 
Goku Runner said, I use trail, trail Toes is what I use sometimes. I, I've used a lot of different stuff. Usually if I go in a place, whatever the brand they have there, it's I use in a buying. It's, some stuff's better than others, but Squirrel's Nut Butter is pretty good. Mark says, I use the Nut Butter and must say it works and would recommend it. I would recommend it too. I mean, it's, it's really good, so... If I have to pick something, but usually when I go some places, they don't have everything I need unless I order it online. Because I don't, sometimes I forget. Like, I don't think about things. Like, when I'm trying to stock, like right now, I need to get on Amazon and start ordering the things that I want for my race. What ends up happening is I don't think about it too much. And then I'm like, oh, crap, I got to order stuff. Then it's too late. Then I have to go to a local store and I'm just kind of handcuffed by whatever they have. Kelly said, oh, wait at the plant powered runner has a channel i have to check it out he's probably plenty of people watching has plenty plenty of people watching <laughs> positive two said can't wait to hear about how the race goes still have eight months to go before my first 50k yeah well you pause you're gonna crush it man you're like is it like at the top five of the of the run club each week with mileage i mean you're you could crush a 50k right now, no problem. I mean, you're looking like you're already at like a 50 mile, ready for a 50 miler now. Much less a 50k in in eight months. Arlene M said, "Congrats on the weight loss. I'm on a weight roller coaster. Um, I'm with you. I've been there. I've been there over the last couple of years. Where um, most of my life, I have been since I got out of." high school through college and stuff like that. You know, being an athlete, I'm used to eating what I want. And uh, when I'm not active, I continue eating and it's just, it's up and down. But I've, I'm on, I've been on a good path for the last eight, nine months. Uh, so I'm excited about it. I am uh, just was running last week. Um, all right, we're going, we're doing the battery thing with the laptop. Oh, we almost lost the laptop again. Hopefully it doesn't go down. We charging? Hold on, everybody. Make sure I'm charging here. Computer got down to 10%. It was almost crashing on me. It's always something. It's always something. I forgot what I was talking about now. You have to remind me. I'm going to keep reading questions. The, the plant powered runner said, YouTube keeps me motivated. LOL. When the camera is rolling, it keeps me going. Yeah. Um, one of the benefits of being a running content creator is I have the added uh, accountability. I call it accountability with you all, especially when it comes to uh, keeping training, keeping up with what you're doing, um, knowing that I'm going to have to post it to Strava or not post a Strava one way or the other, something, you know, people are going to know they follow it. And then weekly I talk with all of you. And so there's a little, a certain level of accountability there. It's not that you guys are pressuring me or really care a whole lot. Um, if I hit all of my training goals, but it is something that, it, that I have in the back of my mind that I want to try to do. And so it really does help keep me on track. So, um, if you're in here, please, uh, just want to send a reminder real quick, please hit that thumbs up. If you're in here, I appreciate it. If you like the content, you don't like it you don't have to and again thank you positive too for that the super chat that's awesome and that's what the uh that's what the uh tip jar is down there everyone I know the question came up earlier everyone's probably wondering why there's a, a beer with coins in it that's this the tip jar when you do a super chat it drops money in that that's what that is oh the roller coaster for weight yeah i've, I've been on that for years Real brother, hey, real brother, thirty-two. Good to see you. I would have figured you'd be sleeping. You were streaming all night. I was gonna pop on your stream a little while ago, and I got home from work. I think I saw you on, or is it this morning? Everything's a blur for me right now. I'm tired. Um, but I see your channel's growing a lot. You've been you've been uh, grinding hard. So it's good to see you. I appreciate that. Goku said, "I'm on that roller coaster too." Yeah, I think a lot of us are. I think a lot of us are sometimes, especially now. The plant powered runner said, I've done a 50K, but the 50 miler is all new to me. 50 miler is fun to me. That's 
uh, it's probably my my favorite ultra distance so far. Um, I like it more than a 50k, just because a 50k is not a ton farther than the marathon, but it's fun. I mean, it's a good distance. It's a good distance. Um, it's different than a 50 miler, for sure. Um, but ultimately. I want to start getting into 100 milers. Um, I love the 24 hour race. Uh, there's some things that I want to try to accomplish with a 24 hour race, uh, going the full 24 hours. Because the, 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 the battle for me is, is the late, the early morning. So if you start a race at seven in the morning and you're going to seven the next morning, that 2 a.m. to 7 a.m. in the morning is so hard um, for me. Uh, when I used to drive through the night going to Florida and stuff like that, it would be super difficult for me to stay awake uh, that time period. I don't know what it is. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying to battle, figuring out how to, to solve that, to crack that nut. So there's something to be said about that challenge because ultimately if I'm going to do a hundred miler, I don't know if I'll ever be one of those people that can finish, you know, if they start at 7 AM, you know, I won't be finishing within 10 hours on a hundred mile or, or 15 hours. I'm sorry, 15 hours or something like that. It's probably going to take me, you know, the, 25 hours or 24 to 30 hour mark depending on the type of race that it is so I, you have to be able to run through the night and battle that 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 fatigue which is going to be difficult so that's kind of the, the challenges i want to do for myself moving forward toby runs a lot said is trail toes or nut butter any better than a stick of body glide just curious um i like body glide i, I don't see a huge difference in all of it um there's some stuff that i've learned that has been a little bit more um greasy or liquidy um i like the stuff that you can cake on uh, the stick sometimes is not always convenient if you could th if you think about all the places you probably need to do it using a deodorant stick style is not always super um i don't know just, just think about how you would have to use this to get into everything. It's just not as convenient. Um, it can hurt too sometimes because of the, the edges of the plastic. <coughs> Holy smokes, that's strong. Whew. That would keep the bugs away. Wow. Um, so, yeah. so <laughs> I like the stuff you can cake on with your hand with a glove on. You can get in there really good. We keep up there. Goku Runner said, Trail Toes is less greasy than Vaseline. I honestly use whatever is available. I'm the same way. Kelly said, I'm signed up for a 12 hour in November, my first ultra, and I'm hoping for 50K. You can easily do 50K in 12 hours. You will crush that, Kelly. Real Brother said, Real Brother said, Salute Queen. How you been? You been all right, real brother? I know you've been, you've been grinding. I would check in on you past that, that thousand uh, subscriber mark on your channel, so congrats. Uh, if you guys like watching uh, grown-ups play, um, what do you call that? Call of Duty and stuff like that. If you're into that kind of stuff, I do have I have some friends that are all into that stuff too. Some of my, my best friends are still do that, trying to drag me into it. I fight it because I just don't have time. But it's a uh, very entertaining. He's a good guy. Recycle on Wednesday said, "I don't mind when people move. I'm usually trying to move from them too. I must have missed something up there. Oh, okay. You're you're going back. I'm just not catching up when I when I talk about people getting out of the way. Poser two said, "Can't wait to hear about how you do, Kelly. Kelly's gonna rock it." She's a farmer. Plant Power Runner said 40 pounds of weight loss is awesome. Congrats. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I've done it a couple times over my, several times over my life. Um, so I've gotten to, to be an expert at gaining it and losing it. Recycle on Wednesday said at Plant Powered Runner, I'm excited to check out your channel. Real Brother 32 said congrats and good luck. Kelly, you got this. Arlene M said, I use lemon eucalyptus spray to repel bugs. It seems to work on people 
to <laughs> repel people. Whatever this is. This is bur bergamot, spearmint, and sweet orange. I don't, what is it? Bur bergamot? Bergamot? B-E-R-G-A-M-O-T, spearmint, and sweet orange. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's paraben free. That's what we're talking about. I have to use stuff that is about as, that you would put on a baby for my armpit so they break, they get all inflamed and, and uh, rashed up. Positive two said thanks. Training hard for it. Yeah, you're you're crushing it, positive two. You're gonna do you're gonna do really well. I can just tell by your training and your your paces, you're gonna crush fifty K. Like you will do really well. Kelly said, Thanks, real brother thirty two. I've never done longer than a half marathon. I figured I'd just go for it. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Plant Powered Runner, Motivation Theory, I love your channel. Thanks for doing what you do. Keep up the great work. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Mickey said, it's starting to cool off, so I'm hoping to get more miles in. Yeah, so I have here recently, the other day it was like 83. It was so it's so nice to not run when it was 98 with 70% humidity. It's so nice. So I'm, I'm looking forward. So I'm hoping September 19, when my race comes around, that will be maybe in the high 70s. That would be perfect. I'd love it to be in the low 60s. That would be perfect for me. Um, my body does really well in the cold weather. But I'm looking forward to, uh, after that race, kind of opening up and, and, and trying out my fitness. Because I know that, you know, my pace doesn't reflect that because I do a lot of math running and training and running along slower miles. I can't wait to actually start trying to, to unleash some speed a little bit towards, you know, the, at the end of the year when it's cold. Because I can feel my fitness has gotten really, really good in comparison to where it was in January. Mickey said, it's starting to, oh, I read that. Real Brother 32 said, God will bless you too to make it through. Positive 2 said, starting some speed work soon. So mileage will be dropping a bit. So corporates for that. Yeah, yeah, you're going to do good. You're already, you're, you're moving quickly. I mean, what are you trying to win? You're trying to win the 50K? That's what I think you're trying to do. Everybody says, hello, hello, hello. Kelly said, positive too. I was so used to seeing your math runs, my mouth dropped open when I saw your speedy trail run. <laughs> Fall is the best, says Recycle on Wednesday. Real Brother 32 said, smash the like button, people. We're working. That's right. We're working hard. We're grinding this out. We got good people here. I appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. Your brother 32 said, I was on Yes Sir, monetized now, and now it seems to be such a grind. Still enjoying it. Yeah, it is a grind. Um, I know a lot of, I have several friends that do live streams, hours and hours and hours, you know, eight hour long live streams. I can't imagine. I mean, I'm, I get beat talking for an hour. If I go an hour and a half, like I've gone over an hour now, uh, my voice will be all hoarse after this. It's a lot. Well, I talk a lot during the day too, so. Kelly said, I will check out your channel. Arlene said, go Kelly. The 50K will be great. Yeah, we're looking for, yeah. So everybody who, who's training for race, you know, if you if you want to comment that kind of stuff in the chat on my on the videos that I release, please feel free to do that. Um, there's a lot of good people out there to cheer you on. I want to keep track that it helps me and my mind um, keep up with it. I'd like to keep up as much as I can with what everyone had, what the race is coming up because I do am interested. And I always tell people like, remind me, people said they got a race that they watched my channel it inspired them and they're running and they got a race coming up. I'm always telling them like, please make sure you let me know how it goes. Cause I love hearing the, the stories. <laughs> Neil said, Johnny look thinner. Have you shaved those legs? Neil, I remember I saw, I got your advice, you know, just get that. I could shave off that 0 0.001 seconds if I do shave. The beard, though, I think makes me faster. I'm starting to get the Viking. It's starting to curl. It's going to be awesome. I'm not going to shave it, though, for the race. It's going to be... I'm going to be all burly. It's going to be awesome. I'll probably get just an extra lap in the race because of the beard. Just because of the beard. So welcome to the stream, Neil. Neil. 
we got our one of our uh, our uh, Australian mascots here. <laughs> the crazy, the crazy ones. Neil, I was actually wondering. I was like, "Are you talking about shaving my legs?" And I was thinking that from that comment on Strava, I was like, "What did I talk about shaving my legs?" It's so funny. Sometimes I'm slow on the uptake. Wait, real? Oh, hold on. So hold on, I missed some stuff. Hey, thanks. Uh, oh, it's good seeing you, Goku. I'm sorry you had to take off. So it keeps kicking down to the bottom. Um, Don said, "Just finished my run." It's a little tough, but doable while listening. Oh, okay, great. Thanks, Don, for listening while you're running. I can imagine that it. it's got to be tough. Uh, Goku Run has got to go. Hey, it's good seeing you, Goku. Appreciate you stopping in. Arlene M. said, John, you should consider the Rim to Rim 100 Miler, the only 100 Miler in West Virginia. Yeah, I, I do need to see. I just need to I need to figure it out a plan with me. I got to kind of figure out what I want to do and set the goal and, and kind of figure out the timing. So I, I definitely want to do it. So real brother 32 said I'm doing better. I had a medical emergency last week. Uh, thought I had a stroke. Oh, my goodness gracious. I had something called Bell's palsy. I do know I've had, uh, I've had a friend have Bell's palsy, which caused the right side of my face to become partially paralyzed. But no stroke. Well, that's good. Yes, I do. I do have I've had a couple friends that have had bouts with that um yeah it's scary it's definitely scary well i'm glad you're doing better um i have to jump on one of your live streams here soon and uh and check you out give you a look over you doing okay is your face back to normal or are you are you feeling okay yeah that is scary usually it comes from some sort of illness or sickness right that that causes the issue from what I remember something like that <laughs> Kelly needs some people repellent yeah good morning Neil plant powered runner said John what is the farthest you have run and what did you do when it got really hard I think the farthest I've ever run is 60 miles or right around there um no, so typically when a run gets harder um i just kind of break things down like i said earlier it's just break things down into smaller parts i stop I, I don't really think about the entirety of the run um i've done 100k and usually i could have done more but on a timed race where it's not um an interloopal race when you can kind of spend all day doing whatever you can kind of back off when it gets hard. When I've battled the the low points in races, so if you want, you I just released a video when I talk about my first race, um, when I raced Belmont, like when I first raced and I hit those low points, um, I talk a little bit about how I kind of got through it. And it is breaking things down into smaller parts, digging down deep inside of yourself to kind of find that reason why you're out there. Um, there's a lot of different motivations. Um, so I could go into uh, wax poetic here for a long time, but um, is I don't try to think beyond the moment. Like I try to think, well, okay, I got to go. I mean, I've had some low points where I've been laying on the trail um, and I've had to get myself out of that. It's usually just really trying to break things down into smaller parts. Like I need to get up, I need to put one foot, one foot in front of the other, um, keep moving, keep moving. Let me get to the next aid station. Let me get hydrated. And I'm just trying to think of the things I'm trying to do uh, to get moving. And that's kind of how I, I tackle that kind of stuff. Um, after a while, you've trained and you kind of know that the pain's coming, so it's a little easier. The first time you go through it, it sucks because you're not, you don't really understand the gravity or how much it's going to suck until you actually go through it. And then you can kind of deal with it later on. You know kind of what you're dealing with. Frank said, it's the citrus fruit and Earl Grey tea. Neil said, hello. Hello, Neil, again. Kelly's warming up for your from your run right then, right now. Kelly said, yes, definitely get tested for Lyme. If you have it and don't get treated, it will rock your world. Yes, definitely. I'd, I'd go have them run. Obviously, you should get some blood work done from that just so they can try to 
identify what maybe is causing it. Real Brother Third Bell's palsy is a symptom of later state Lyme's disease. There are other causes. I was reading recently that Lyme's is often diagnosed later in black people. Yeah, I would I would get checked out just to get run a blood work panel just to make sure so you know what what you're dealing with. Um, I've seen people get um, pretty pretty. Lyme's disease we is weird how it affects different people. So, you know, I grew up in Virginia. I've been pulling ticks off myself for forever, uh, and I never got it. I don't think so. Uh, my daughter got it real young, and we caught it early, right after the tick. She got the circle, and we treated it. Um, it's just weird. It's weird how that stuff, how that can just be such a weird thing for different people, how it affects you. Real Brother 32 says, it's only been eight days, but I'm coming back now. So far, they said I have a viral flu. And see, that's that's what I've always heard. Like, it's a viral thing that would cause it. So it might not be Lyme. It could be caused from a viral uh, sickness of some sort. And that's what I've always heard, that people that I knew that had it, it was from some sort of viral thing, and then it went away, and they never got it again. So that's that's good that you kind of know that that, that might be why. But yeah, definitely you probably want to get tested for Lyme. Just just to rule it out, make sure. You want to make sure you don't have that. Real brother said, thank you for the advice. Recycle on Wednesday said, I'm not a doctor. Real brother third. Recycle on Wednesday said, I'm not a doctor, just a black person who grew up in Lyme disease country. I wasn't aware of that. Is it? Is it? It's it's worse up north, right? On the, like the east coast. I don't know where else. Or, or like I know that it gets worse as you go north. I remember it wasn't really bad in Virginia growing up, but now that I think it's kind of spread down here, some. Tim Hugo said, "Wishing you a speedy recovery." Yeah, man, definitely. I hope that that's just kind of one a temporary thing, and then you come you bounce right back. Real Brother 32 said, just left the VA hospital today. I'll call them in the AM. Yeah, man. Go to that VA hospital. Make sure they're taking care of you. Thank you for your service, as always. Yeah, we got Real Brother 32 as a vet, so we definitely, definitely looking out for you. Neil said, do you cross train? I do. I do cross train. Not as much as I should. I should be doing cross training a lot more. Plant Powered Runner said, Real Brother, I wish I, I wish y'all the best. Yikes, that can be very scary. Kelly said, I'm white, never had a bullseye and had bizarre symptoms. They tested for that as an afterthought. Real Brother 32 said, that that's just it. No COVID-19 or HIV, just a random viral infection in this pandemic. What? Well, you know, that's good. <laughs> Kelly said, yeah. It was first discovered in C in Connecticut, yeah. Canada's getting some too. Dang it. I wish they could find a way to get rid of it somehow. It's crazy. I've known I know some uh family members that have gotten it. It's been pretty bad for them. Uh, they've definitely struggled for many, many years. Not everybody gets a rash. Kelly said, I've discovered Vlad and X YouTube channel. He is a great 15 minute strength, mobility, and yoga vids, especially for trail runners. Recycling with yeah, I grew up. Oh yeah, so you were dead. You're like a, the epicenter. Wow, that's crazy. Well, I hope it now recycling was it. Did you say you had you got Lyme's disease? Is that what you said? Neil said, anyone using Aeropex Bones headgear? I am not. I'm not even sure what that is. Plant Powered Runner said, I have 10 friends that have Lyme disease right now. It affects them all differently. Yeah, that's what I've always found. It really does affect people in many different ways.
Oh, earphones. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't even wear. I don't even listen to music when I run. Ooh, we're coming up on six thirty. All right, everybody. I need to run. I went over almost a half an hour. I need to get up and go watch the baby. Um, check in with everybody. See everybody's doing. Thank you all for tuning in. It's, again, it's awesome to catch up with you all. It feels like it's been more than a week since last time, but I know that I live streamed before a baseball game. It feels like forever ago. Um, it's good talking to you. Pause or two. Thank you for the super chat. As always, that's awesome. I really appreciate that support. Um, make sure you hit that like button on the way out. Uh, I got some videos coming out here soon this week. If you haven't uh, caught up on the, the, the latest releases, there are plenty of videos out there for you. For those of you who are transitioning into ultras or wanting to run ultras or uh, already run them and just need some more stuff to look at, I got tons of videos on my channel. Go check them out. Um, again, I appreciate the support, everybody. It's good seeing all of you. Uh, it's awesome. Take care, everybody. Be safe out there. Make sure you use the the uh, DEET bug spray. I always put that on before I go on the trail so I don't get ticks on me. It does work. It helps me. Uh, be safe out there. Uh, That's right, everyone take care. It's good seeing you next week. Next Tuesday, 5 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to do it again. We're going to hang out here. And uh, if you have any thoughts about what you want to maybe talk about, remember this is an open chat. We'll, we, we can chat about anything. So I will see you all next week. Uh, be safe. Take care. Say thanks, everybody. Say uh, thank you, Arlene, Kelly, Mickey, Neil, Posner, two, Real Brother, thirty-two, Recycle on Wednesday, the Plant Power Runner, Tim Hugo, Toby runs a lot. Frank, I know you're out there. Goku Runner, West Virginia Running, Don, and everybody else. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. It's a great hanging out with all of you. Have a great week and uh, keep working every single day. Keep working towards your goals. The races will come around again. And uh, we're going to be running. We're going to be running a lot. And we're going to be in better shape than we ever were before. So keep your head down. Keep your eye on the prize. And Posner 32 is going to win his race. It's 50K. <laughs>